Hello everybody, my name is Alan from Sauber Lab and today I will answer one of the comments from my video. Basically the guy comment, Alan, it's great, you show how you can configure the next cloud in TrueNAS, as well using the proxy manager you show how you track the website. But when I look the video, I didn't see any certification, SSL certification, so how can I do it? How can I enforce the SSL certification using my website? And then I look a little bit online, I make some research and I saw that a lot of people do the certification is directly in the next cloud. They create a generic certification and this generic certification, it's work as a generic, but I don't like this idea. Did convince myself because in my mind I had created this certification. So I go back my video and I look here in my video and I can see that, no, I don't have the certification. And if I go a little bit here, I still don't have the certification and I'm running it and not, it's not secure. So yes, he's right, I didn't do it. So in this video, I will show how you can fix this problem, my problem that I should do in the first video. If you like this idea and want to just see a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video, but first, don't forget to leave your like, consider it to subscribe for the channel and let's see it. Okay, before I start to show how we can do it, I will go for some basic information. First of all, what is SL certification? Why it's important to have it? Basically, let's go to the Google website. In the Google website, we show this uh, lock. And if I open this lock and come for a connection, it's secure and certification is valid. Uh, here appear all the information for my certification. Basically, I have issue to Google. And that's if I come in details and go a little bit more, he will show what subject that it's coming through and a little bit more, which kind of authorization and which sites that they are going. Google, google.com and all the countries that have the Google. Basically, this certification, it's for all the DNS. What it means? It means that uh, this certification, it's made specific for the Google website because they check that the Google website is trustable and exists. It's important because if you go to access one website and perhaps your DNS has been modified or your search DNS for your device of your router has been modified, they, will, can, they can direct it for another site. If you do a generic SSL, you can use this generic and other sites can create this generic SSL in the same way. But once that you do a specific certificate SSL and that you do a challenge against it, you can use the Let's Encrypt or you can use directly some uh, DNS challenge. In this way, you can validate that this site is really from this location or you're going to connect to the correctly site. And we are using the HTTP protocol. So we have a uh, encrypt 256 bits, so it's secure. It means that all the data, it's only C for the server and the final user. Everything in the middle, it's impossible to see unless they have this key that generate between the basic user and the server. So it's quite difficult to find and locate what you're doing. The true NAS that I'm using is 12 U4. The red show that have updates, I think that's U5, but I didn't update that. As well, I'm using a E5 machine and a 80 gigabytes of RAM. If you remember the other video that I post, I use a little bit more RAM, but in this case I remove because I didn't need to choose so much. I'm gonna use only 308 or two hard drive of 500, so I don't need so much RAM in this case. If I come here in my plugins, I have the next cloud installed. If I open this link for the next cloud, I already have my next cloud and it's connect and it's working as well. They say that's not secure. Exactly the same information. If I check here, certification is not valid, and I have issue by TrueNAS local and issue local, so it's not valid at all. If I do a specific certification SSL that a lot of people do in the internet, they will generate a not a correctly certification, and we don't want to do it. So what we should do in this case? Let's go for a my proxy manager. Here my proxy manager, I just create my certification SSL and just create my website. I use the Cloudflare in my case and I use the Cloudflare challenge. If you're not confident about it, look one of the videos that I show how you can configure it and add the uh, website to your proxy manager. But basically what I'm gonna do, I will come here and I will edit it. I need to see what I did wrong and I know what I did wrong. Basically in this 
page, we need to define what we want to do. I want to should allow the WebSocket support. I want to allow the block common exploit. And if I come here, my SSL certification, I need to click force SSL. I need to enable, enable, and enable. If I enable all these options, now I can connect it and try to open this website. If I open this website, there will appear, appear this lock. What it means? Now it's protect. So if I open this lock, come here in connection security and certification valid, the red appear that issue for Cloudflare, SSL, it means that Cloudflare is managed it because I did a DNS challenge in this case, and issue for Cloudflare, but let's see if it's specific for my website. If I come here in details, and I will check what I have. I have uh, encryption 256, that's great. It means that all my data will be accessible between myself and my final user. Anyone in the middle will not be able to access it. And let's go. The day that it start my certification for my website, the day that's finished, and let's go a little bit more down. And I can see what website that is. It means that the DNS for the site, it's only CyberLab and it's the CyberLab. All the subdomains that come from the cyber lab will be covered if I can validate it. It means that I'm using it. And now here they appear that the certification is okay. As well, I can view my certification and see exactly the same step and look for my other certification and see who is in the end doing the certification for the Cloudflare. It means that uh, Cloudflare cannot issue only a certification for no reason. They need to have escalate. Someone will certify Cloudflare and that will certify the other client and that will certify your server. So you have a lot of uh, certification that's valid that uh, Cloudflare give you the correct information. And in this case, you are safe to access it. So guys, as I told, it's really quick video only to show what I did wrong. And yes, you should use this certification directly for your proxy manager. You should not use a general certification because this one don't validate that that website is really yours. It means that if someone modified your DNS to look in a different place, this different place directly for your search for another website and this other website and this website could have the general certification SSL, this way you could be tricked. But uh, if you use a Let's Encrypt or a certification that validates through the proxy manager, so it will be more safe than you can check what the history and really validate that all this step is valid. If you like this video and think that was interesting, don't forget to leave your like. If you didn't like, leave your dislike, subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.